Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Crosswatchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel, and then I have my main channel, Tarot of Light. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away two four question text readings. So hashtag reading for that. I give away two $50 prizes, post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for with a green heart to win the prize. Um, and then I give away one crystal mystery box. So hashtag crystal for that. Okay. So cancer baby season is upon us. So the sales that we're running for Cancer Baby Season, our Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle are $22.22 for the set, plus shipping and handling. Um, the link for that is below. Uh, we've got Mystery Crystal Boxes on sale for $22.22. This is the size of the box, guys. It's a really big, it's a decent size box for 22 bucks, okay? So $22 plus shipping and handling. And then we have $10 off on phone readings, not text readings. I do text readings also, guys. Um, text readings are pretty fast. Uh, usually I can have them done within a couple hours unless it's really late at night, then it goes into the next day, okay? Um, for those of you who wanted to purchase Raven's Rose Oracle and it was out of stock, it is now back on my website. The link for all of that is below. All right, my loves. What am I grateful for today? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, my YouTube family, my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I apologize, guys, that I'm running late today. My allergies kind of have been on one and I didn't sleep too well last night. All right, so let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about cancer, please. Okay, so we've got Cupid, we have Codependent, we have Nature, we've got Desire, we have Compromise, and we've got Divine Masculine with Soulmate. Damn. Oh, Cancer. Okay, okay. Cancer, this is new. Okay, this is new. This is intense. This is love at first sight. Now, I just want to throw it out there. Okay, if this is not new, this is something, this is how this would look. You met someone online, you guys live at a distance, or you met someone online and you haven't met yet, and you're meeting for the first time face to face. Okay, that's the only way this wouldn't be completely new is if you've had, you know, uh, like a, an online relationship or a texting relationship and you're finally meeting for the first time. Cancer, this is intense. This is love at first sight. This is as soon as you guys meet, there's the, the fireworks, the Disney fireworks are happening. Everything is happening here. We've got love. We've got lust. We've got, you know, I think both of you may be a little codependent and addicted to each other. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The both of you, from the minute you meet, you're not really going to want to be away from each other. Okay. What's really beautiful about this connection is the compromising part, because this right here is the key. A lot of people say that the key to a good relationship is communication. Yes and no. And let me tell you why I don't believe communication is the key to a good relationship. Because you can speak. It doesn't mean the other person's going to listen. You see what I'm saying? You following me? Okay. It, you could talk all you want. It doesn't mean that the other person is going to listen. They may hear you, but it's not going to, you know, sometimes it just doesn't sink in. Okay. This, this right here is the key to an everlasting relationship. Being able to listen to your partner, compromise, make those sacrifices to make your person happy, okay? And Cancer, you have that person coming in, okay? That person is here. 
Daddy is home, baby. Okay, mommy is home. We've got this divine masculine, strong soul tight energy here. And this is somebody that it says here on this divine masculine card, I am kind, I can love, but I'm always in control. I am focused and I am confident. Okay, so this is somebody that even this is a divine masculine energy that you can lean on that will sit and at the head of the relationship and lead, but at the same time, not so controlling that you don't have a say in anything. Okay. Which is beautiful. All right. So I'm seeing lust here. I'm seeing yearning, desire, craving. I can't get it. I can't keep my hands off of you. <laughs> now, Nature is here. So some of you could be bumping into somebody um, when you're out in nature. Maybe you're taking your dog for a walk. Maybe you're going hiking. Maybe you're going on a camping trip. You're going to be outdoors, okay? For, for many of you, at least. For many of you, you're going to be outdoors. Uh, you might be going outdoors to relax. Maybe you're going to sit by a river or a lake or going to the beach. You know, you're just, you're going to go for a walk to kind of let off some steam or something along the, the, those lines, you know, just enjoying nature for a quick minute. And you may run into this person. Now, for others of you, remember how I discussed that, you know, this could be an energy of you've been speaking to someone online for a while and um, you guys meet for the first time. OK, it could be that either you or this person or both of you are very much into nature and the outdoors. OK, that is a possibility. It doesn't have to resonate with everybody, guys. These are general readings. OK, they are general readings. Um, what deck shall we use for today? Right. Spirit, tell me about cancer. Tell me about cancer. OK, so we've got the seven of wands just flew out. Spirit, tell me about cancer. Tell me about cancer. We've got temperance, Sagittarius energy. We've got the five of pentacles. The five of swords and the four of swords. Yeah, I think that, okay, some... Either you guys could either both be going through the same thing, okay, <clears throat> or one of you is. There's a need to get away here because there's been some type of loss. So, Cancer, this could be, you know, you're wanting to... Oh, how do I want to phrase this? There seems to be some type of chaos, okay? Because if we look at the seven of wands here, okay, this is a lot of communication, a lot of maybe arguing, challenges, problems, and and you and maybe your person also are sitting in this energy of, I just don't want to hear this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. With temperance, I need peace. I need quiet. Everything is giving me a headache. Five of Pentacles, this could be you walking away from something. This could be your person walking away from something. For some of you, this is just an energy of like just getting in your car and dipping on people. Just leaving work, leaving everything behind, maybe to go on vacation, go on a trip. For some of you, I got to keep it real, but this may resonate seriously with just one person, okay? But th there could be a, an energy here of just, even if it's one person that said, screw it, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm going to go buy myself a camper. I'm done with work. I'm done with bills. I'm done with everything. This is like a, a total and complete fuck it moment is what this is, okay? Someone here could be leaving a relationship, a job. They could be relieving, leaving just everything behind because with the four of swords here and temperance, I need to relax. It's dropping the burdens, okay? Dropping the burdens and saying, I need to get away. I'm done with this. I want to go. I want to leave. I want peace in my life. I want to go be in nature. I want to just, I want to just go. So I don't know, Cancer, if you and this person are on that same, you know, having that same type of day where you guys go for a hike, you don't go to work that day, you do, you, you put your phone on do not disturb, and you guys run into each other, okay? 
or cancer if you've been in some type of long distance relationship, okay? And life is getting too overwhelming for either you or your person. One of you may say, you know what? I can't take being here anymore. I'm getting on a plane. I'm getting in my car. I'm coming to see you, okay? I'm coming to see you. And from that mo moment on, everything changes, okay? From that moment on, everything changes. Sagittarius energy here. Tell me about cancer, please. Damn. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Notice how we're going from a five. A change is leading to a Ten of Pentacles, which is a completion of something. So in order to get to this Ten of Pentacles, Cancer, there's going to be this energy with the Five of Pentacles of A, leaving something behind. B, maybe losing a day's work because this is like waking up in the morning and just, I mean, this is a true epitome of having a fuck it day or a fuck it moment or fuck everything. You know, that's, that's all I just, excuse my language, guys, excuse my language, but that is the energy of these cards put together. I'm not going to work today. I'm not dealing with my boss. I'm done with you in this relationship. I'm done with everything. For some of you, it even goes as far as I'm done paying these bills. I'm done with everything. I'm going to go buy myself a camper. I'm going to go and I'm just going to go live in a cabin in the woods somewhere with this nature card, right? It's just saying I'm done. We've got the five of cups here. And the two of swords. Cancer, I feel like, you know, for some of you, this may be your energy, but there is a sense of, listen, I feel bad, but I got to go. I feel bad, but I have to go. Or Cancer, it could be that, you know, with this Five of Cups energy, wherever you're sitting, there's just too much. How do I want to say it with this Five of Cups? It's almost like there, there's something here that you once loved, whether it's your house, your job, your relationship, whatever. And now with the Three of Cups, you know, laying here on the floor like that, it's like, you're looking at everything that is wrong with this person. You may have loved a, a, a partner in a relationship and now you just can't stand their face. You can't stand anything that they're doing. You may have loved your job and now you can't stand it anymore. You may have loved your apartment, your house, now you can't stand it anymore. And with the two of swords, you just want something out of your life. It's like releasing a burden. It's like, I gotta go. I don't wanna do this anymore. I'm tired of waking up depressed. I'm tired of waking up tired. I'm tired. I'm just tired of everything. This is being sick and tired of being sick and tired. We've got the hermit Virgo energy. I don't think that this was an impulsive decision on your part, Cancer. I, I do think that you've been, you know, thinking about doing this for quite some time. And then you finally make that decision to do it. Now, mind you, Cancer. The judgment card is very different than the two of wands, the two of pentacles, uh, two of swords. This is a decision that you're never going to go back from, okay? It's a decision that is going to be life-changing for you. It's a decision that's going to be like, yeah, see, look, queen of cups and the ten of wands. There's something here that's too heavy for you, Cancer. There's something that's too heavy. It could be family members, friends, a romantic partner, a job, you're tired. You're tired to the point where you're like, you know, if you've been speaking to a romantic interest long distance, you're like, you know what? I'm leaving everything behind and I'm coming to you. Or cancer. If there is no romantic interest and you're just, you know, you're in a relationship that's heavy. Family members are making you crazy. Work is crazy. This is you getting in your car and disappearing. Disappearing. Renting a cabin on Airbnb where you have no cell phone service. You know, you're in this energy of, I need two or three days to just go ground my energy, be in nature. I need silence. And while you're on this little journey, you run into the love of your life. You know, look, see, we've got the two of pentacles here and the magician, strong Virgo energy, strong Sagittarius energy here, guys, the, the, the two of, of pentacles here, the magician and the nine of swords cancer. This is you working overtime. 
Okay. The magician can talk about manifestation, of course. Okay. But what is manifestation? Manifestation is wanting something and having to align yourself to receive those things. Okay. Two of pentacles can talk about being really busy, juggling too many things at one time. Okay. So cancer, you know, this magician has the cup, the pentacle, the wand and the sword. So this is you trying to juggle love, trying to juggle money, trying to wake up in the morning and have energy and communication, phone calls to make, uh, you know, having to, um, if you're in a relationship, having to keep up with your person's sexual needs, you just have too much on your plate here and you're ready to fall. You're ready to fall. You're not even sleeping well at night because you're so stressed out and anxious over all the shit you got to do tomorrow. You know, uh, in the Bible, Ephesians, no, not, is it Ephesians? No, if you, what is Ephesians? I don't even know. Ecclesiastes is the word I'm looking for. Ecclesiastes, I don't know how to pronounce it. There's a, a book in the Bible, Ecclesiastes, and I think it's chapter four, I want to say. But it, that whole part of the Bible talks about how we are not meant to live this heavy of a lifestyle. We were meant to just chill out, believe it or not. We were created to just farm our food and chill the frick out. That That's what we were created to do. Okay. We weren't created to work a nine to five and do this and do that. Um, and, and, you know, guys, I, even me with my life, I work from home, right. And I cannot remember how, when I used to work a nine to five, how I would do it because there, there will be a problem with like, you know, my electric bill and it's three hours on the phone to resolve a problem or this or that. I mean, everything takes so long to take care of like all these little problems. And I'm like, how did I do this when I worked a nine to five? Like, you know, so, you know, I think you're very overwhelmed here, cancer. And again, it could be, if you're in a relationship, it could be friends, family, whatever, work, whatever. Just overall everyday problems that you're tired of, that you're tired of. One of two things are happening here, Cancer. You're going to go rent yourself an Airbnb in the woods or or something here. The, nature is involved. So maybe you're renting something by the beach or uh, it could be the beach. It could be the woods. You're going somewhere, the mountains, whatever. You're not telling anybody where you're going. You're going to go for a few days and you're going to run into the love of your life. Or cancer, again, if you if you have someone long distance, this is you leaving everything behind. You know, you're leaving and you may not be back. If this is romantic cancer, where you've had a long distance relationship, you might be leaving everything behind never to return. God, keep it real with you. Yeah, look. Three of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Hierophant. That is literally so beautiful. It's disgusting. I'm disgusted. That's how beautiful that is. I mean, let's just take a look at the difference of these three cards. We've got busy, juggling, not having time for anything, trying to align yourself to receive all these manifestations and plus do things for other people. You, you have a to-do list that you can never complete in one day. It's like the, the, the to-do list doesn't get completed for Tuesday. It rolls into Wednesday. Now we've got all the things that you were supposed to do on Wednesday. Cancer, you're exhausted here. You're exhausted. Or some of you could be in a relationship where your partner is requiring for you to do everything, you know, clean the house, do the laundry, pay the bills, do this, do that, you know, and, and you're just exhausted. You can't take it anymore. You're in bed here, cancer, putting your, your head in your hands. Like, God, please just, I can't do this anymore. Spirit, please. I can't do this anymore. What am I going to, what do I have to do here? And I feel like cancer, you're going from that energy to walking away and just saying, I'm done, you know, I'm done. I'm leaving everything behind. And with that three of cups here, this is you either meeting a long distance lover from, for, you know, for the first time, or with that three of cups, this is you running into the love of your life. The wheel of fortune and the hierophant, this is a divine soulmate. This is a divine soul contract. This is what God spirit, the divine wants you to do. 
you are on the right path. You are on the right path. You could be meeting a Taurus. Okay. You could be meeting a Taurus. Cancer, I mean, this is like leaving all that doesn't serve you behind the chaos, the headache, the busy lifestyle. Um, for those of you that are in a long-term relation, in a, in a long distance relationship, this person may live in nature. You may leave where you are to go be with this person and life is so peaceful. You're sitting outside in the backyard. The birds are chirping. It's just peace. Peace. For those of you, Cancer, that decide to just up and leave for a week and go rent a cabin, something by the beach, you run into the love of your life and this person lives in nature. They live in a beautiful and peaceful place. Your life is about to change overnight. This one fuck it moment. This one decision that you have to go do something is going to change your life forever. And here's what I find most interesting, Cancer. I think that you're doing so much stuff over here trying to align yourself to receive your blessings when all it took in reality was for you to leave everything behind to receive your manifestations and to have your prayers answered. Look at this, Queen of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Fool card, Aries Energy, the Six of Swords. Cancer, this is you getting on the phone with people and telling people I'm never coming back. Yeah, the, this is you getting on the phone with people and telling people I'm never coming back. Cancer, you're about to leave, you're about to disappear. Damn. Well, I hope you have internet. Don't stop coming here and watching me. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> we're all going to miss you, Cancer. Some of you are about to disappear. I mean, we're talking like leaving mortgages behind, rent behind, uh, car, just every, you're just, this is like a total and complete, I'm leaving it all behind. I am leaving it all behind. This is you getting on the phone with people and saying, I'm out. I, I don't want to live this way anymore. We've got the chariot, Cancerian energy. And the eight of pentacles. Cancer, you're going to be going with a moving truck and getting your shit. That's what you're doing here. That is what you're doing here. Okay. You are, there may be a boss here that doesn't want to hear it. There could be, you know, uh, banks or... Whoever, you know, whoever you owe money to, contracts, whatever, they don't want to hear that shit. What do you mean you're not paying your rent? Landlords, what do you mean you're not coming to work? That's not acceptable. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, what are you talking about? Cancer, this is you. This is the energy that you are in, honey. The star and the night of what I'm going. I'm out. You're gonna feel 10 years younger when you make this decision, Cancer. Aquarius energy. Your spirit is going to feel healed. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel excited. It's almost like you're going from an energy of feeling dead inside, feeling dead inside because you can't keep up with life. You cannot keep up with life. And you're going from that to making all these phone calls here, okay? And telling people with the Queen of Swords. I'm not coming back. Okay. See that hand? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Over there. You in the back. Fuck you too. This is fuck you boss. Fuck you landlord. Fuck you this. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like you are telling everybody to go screw themselves cancer. Okay. You're about to meet the love of your life. And I feel you may say, okay, Gina, let me just, let me just wrap my head around what you're telling me. Okay. On a random Wednesday afternoon, I'm going to get in my car, I'm going to go rent an Airbnb, or I'm going to go camping with a freaking camping tent for like three days in the middle of the woods. I'm going to meet the love of my life and I'm never going to go back to my life. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. That is what I'm telling you. Okay. Because when you meet this new person, the love is going to be so intense. It's going to feel like you've met this person 
that you've known this person your whole life. And especially so for those of you who have a long distance relationship where you've connected online so strongly and all that was left was to see if that chemistry was there in person. Ooh, for cancer, for those of you that are meeting someone long distance and everything seems great and you just, that's it. That's the last thing that's remaining. Just meeting each other in person. You're never going back. Make sure you kiss and hug everybody real tight because you are never going back. Before you leave, make sure make sure you say your goodbyes, okay? Um, and, and even for those of you that go away on a weekend trip, you may meet someone and you may never come back, okay? You may never come back. Chariot, Eight of Pentacles, this is you working on moving forward in life, move, move, working on doing something that you are excited and happy about, okay? You feel young, you feel carefree, you feel, I mean, look at this, we've got the Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups, you know, an offer is being given to you here, hey, come stay with me, don't leave, let's be together forever, and Cancer, there's a minute here where you may just, give, give me a second here, I need to think about this. I need to think about this. And then you're like, let's do it. Let's do it. I want to do it. I want to just leave. I, I need to just reset my life like default. You know, you know, when they say reset your router, reset, whatever you're going into reset mode cancer, because life, the way it is for you right now, it's just too heavy. This is not what life is about. Phone calls, stress, not sleeping, working three jobs, doing whatever. This is not the way you want to live the rest of your life. So can cancer, you're you're resetting. You're you're resetting your entire life and starting from completely fresh, somewhere new, and with someone new, or with someone that you've been talking to but haven't met in person yet. Okay. So what I got for you, I'm excited for you. I love you guys and I'll see you soon.